primary systems online. All right, we are back with some Nautica for a pre-recording. Hopefully everything goes smooth there. Then last time, I don't know, it's very late, okay? I'm recording at what? It's 10.30 p.m., which means night, for those of you that forget. I tried streaming it, it was really dry, and I knew why, because, you know, you have to travel so much, you gotta think of things to say when you're streaming, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, welcome to our base! We got a battery charger, right? We got some storage. I like how they did the storage now. Now, what would be really cool if actually the items showed up, like on the shelving, but hey, I ain't complaining. Got a little aquarium with this one peeper. Now, we went to the mushroom forest in the stream. This peeper and a couple, you see this like luminescent kind of trail that it leaves like, right there? It was glowing at night. That's a new thing to my knowledge. I haven't seen that before, but anyway. So we have our, we have a moon pool. Look at the moon pool, fam. Of course, I don't have the freaking uh, vehicle modification station. Man, I'm messing up all in this commentary. We don't have that, but that's on the agenda, obviously, to go get. We have a poster. We have to go back to the Aurora. Now that we have the laser cutter and all this other jazz, so why not? Let's just do that. systems online how you doing double karen oh my god why does it look like i'm really deep also don't forget to check out the rebel channel awesome content over there all right we made it back to the aurora now wait do i have my propulsion cannon wow dude oh wait i think we're good oh it didn't it stayed out the way good oh i was gonna man listen don't electrocute yourself open this door all right bust through that we already know what's good. Is any of this stuff like scannable? It's not cool. Got the Aurora black box. Integrating new PDA data. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we made it to the Prawn Bay. Jump, please. Yes. I still need the propulsion cannon. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what a freaking letdown! But either way, let's get this prawn suit since we're here. Bop. Right here. Your boy. Fuck it. Scan it. There you go. And just like that, we got the prawn suit. And just like that, we have another message. There's got to be a way to freaking... Uh, ooh. There's got to be a way to move those things without me having to go all the way back home for the freaking propulsion cannon. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that legit scared the sh- Oh my god. That legit scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Just hop this shit. This guy, you, you should be able to do that. Come on, You're, we're black. We got hops. Wait, wait. Oh! Um, we are the one? Climb you the homie, I turn into bro. Gotta be a fire extinguisher in here. I refuse to believe. But wait, okay, there was a door in this area that required a code, but you couldn't get through it. Now that the game is out, is it a thing now? Like, can you get through it? We gonna find out, baby. Let's get a single bed, cause you know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. 1869. Hey, open up a daddy. Ooh. Integrating new PDA data. Nice. Okay. So I get. Ooh, I like the little icon for unlocked. That's pretty nice. Whoa, we got. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot we have like voice things now. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Ha! <laughs> Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Mm. Back on the island. I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. No. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. Mm -hmm. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. Uh -huh, it's obviously. a bit gross. 
but it's nothing they wouldn't do. Okay. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. Mm. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Mm. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. <laughs> gives me the fuzzies? Okay. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, hmm. and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Yep. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. What? When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. Oh my gosh. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. Ha! She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. Oh boy. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Mmm. Okay. First of all, Marguerite sound like a bad bitch. Shout out to Marguerite. I hope she's thick. Bruh. Wait, is that his mom? Or stepmom or something? I don't know. Are they related in any sort of way? But yo, I really appreciate these voice logs. Like, they made the game that much better. Pecking order. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. Oh boy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? Ooh. We, her. we let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. But what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Oh my gosh, dude. Deeper? We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that should be. Oh boy. You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Oh, Marguerite. Dilemma. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level. Okay. More than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Mm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. Turn up for the squad! I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. Oh, wow. So, 
It's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. Uh -huh. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. Oh boy. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Wow. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. <laughs> there was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get Deet? off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> So a couple things from this voice log that come to mind. So he's he just made 80 again. Turn up for the squad. That's amazing. So he would have made another 80. They're so far ahead as like a civilization in space that what the, I guess the average or like the life expectancy is 160. That is amazing. That's awesome. Another thing. So he ordered a detour and that detour led to where we are now, the Degazi being shot down. Where were they going? Like that's my question. What was, what was the main thing? Like what was, the main mission? I guess, dude. I'm so all about the story now. So I guess there's nothing for this room. That's the whole premise of me being in this menu right now. Not this room, but that room, the captain's quarters. So we are done with the Aurora finally. So let's go home and proceed with. The game? I don't know. Welcome aboard, Captain. How you doing, babe? Oh, I also forgot to mention that we have the modification station via stream. So that's dope. We should probably just build that too. Again, I haven't seen this the ocean look like this, like this color. This is different. It's very ear. Oh my god. Scared the shit out. Oh my god, I'm sweating, dude. All right, to make this modification station, we need a computer chip. We need another diamond lead, which I think we have already. All right, after some farming, we're gonna make this computer chip stuff. Now, all we need is freaking diamond. I'm not excited for that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I don't, I'm not really excited to go to this place. I really don't want to go to this place. But fuck it. Ooh, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. I think this is it. Oh my God. I'm so, yup, this is it. This is where we wanted to be. Here we go. It is now time for the rush of the century. What, what's over here? Oh, I'm right by the wreck, dude. Oh. No, please don't eat me. Of the land masses suspended here suggest they were floated on the surface. Yeah, I bet. Um. Wow, we're right by the wreck. This is impromptu. Let's just go for it. Why don't we? Opening. I found it. I found it. Dude, come on. No. No. Uh oh. Dude. Dude. Go somewhere. Oh my god, dude. Really? Oh, just, just stay there. Just stay there. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. Oh, he's tripping! Dude, is my ship okay? No, it's not! Are you serious? Dude, he is literally trying to... No, you know what? You know what? You know what? Nah. Spawn nearby failed. What, what does that mean? No, nah, you know what? You know what? Whoa. Whoa. Fuck out of here. Freaking Seamoth alone, man. Jeez. All right, make it quick. Make it quick. Make it quick. Quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Nothing. 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 Open the door. Dude. My Seamoth okay? Is it okay? Can I not repair it? Hello? I'm 
dude, they're trying to destroy me. Can I not repair it? Oh my god, dude. This is the worst thing ever. Go, 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 what's in here, what's in here, what's in the, a chick plant pot? Go, go, go. Hurry, 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 hurry. Yes, I know, I know, I know. What? A picture frame, I. Oh my god, my seed moth. Blue print acquired. Floodlight, fine. A door, fine. Go, 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 go. I'm scared. Oh my god. No, 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 My Seamoth, my Seamoth. They moved my Seamoth, dude. They're trying to destroy my Seamoth, man. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, go. Go, go. Get the laser cutter, get the laser cutter. Here we go. Bruh. Oh my. F you gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shit. We're ending the episode right here. I don't know what it is. Psych! Alright, so I took the battery out of my Seamoth and I am now gonna put it in the laser cutter. Oh, thank God I could do that. Okay, real quick, let's go. Man, I was gonna be so freaking mad. Boom. All right, there better be some good, what's that? The grappling? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That makes up for it. That makes up for it. One more. Prod suit fragment, don't need it. Ooh, a data box. What's this? Cyclops fire suppression system? That's, yes. Yes, you're making up for it in so many good ways. Ooh. And there's another door. WN safety instructions appendix A14. Don't climb on or get off equipment while it's moving. Okay. You ain't saying nothing but a word. I need some oxygen though. All right, we got it open. Another data, stop. Another data box? Is there any other scannables in here? Whatever, get this data box. Swim charge fins. I feel it. I feel it. Can I go in here? Oh my god, I can. How is this gonna give me one grappling arm? All right, whatever. We got one though, so I can't really complain that much. But now, still, the main objective we need diamond. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. First of all, get, get the battery out. There we go. Put it back in the, 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 the Z Moth. I can't even talk because I'm nervous. Here we go. Diamond! Let's be a little risky, a little risque, and get a couple more. What is that? What? Oh my God, no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. We need one more. Oh my God, dude. I wish it was day, cause I don't wanna be out here. I wish it was day, cause I don't wanna freaking die. Whoa! Find a couple more pieces and I get the fuck out of here cause I don't want to be here anymore. Woo! Woo! Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't freaking learn my lesson so I'm still gonna die. We need one more engine piece and that's it for the Cyclops, dude. <gasps> there it is! We can make the Cyclops, dude. We got diamond, dude. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. We're done. We're done. We're gonna make this modification station. That's it. We're going home. We're going home. Where's home? I'm scared. That's how you doing, Karen, baby girl. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna end the episode right now. For real, for real. <laughs> This is like, I guess, bonus content. We gotta charge these batteries because we almost fucking died. We got two diamond pieces popping off. We can make the Cyclops soon. We still have to, we have to make the modification station actually. So, matter of fact, let's expand our base. Yeah, do it right there, baby. Oh yeah, come on. There it is. Now we do need to make some reinforcements. This is the new room. This is gonna be our room right now. Our bed is going to, hello? But anyway, we'll do that a different day. Uh, we're gonna make the freaking modification station right here, okay? Come on, right there. 
Boom! Look at that! Look at that! I'm so glad we have this. A thermal blade. We just need a battery. You know what? We're gonna do that right now. Thermal blade! Come on now. Air tank, high capacity. Oh, and we're gonna do this right now. High, oh, what was it? Ultra high capacity tank thing. That thing. All right. How much? Oh my God. Oh my God. What? That is what I'm talking about right there. 225? We can basically just, we're a mermaid. We're a mer man. Yo, we made major moves in this episode. It's very lengthy. I don't know how long I've been recording. At least for an hour, maybe an hour and a half to. I don't know, but a lot has happened. It's cool. I'm gonna see y'all next episode. Like it and subscribe right now. Check out the Rebel channel. I don't know what it is.